Charlita come in here. We get we are sending a good offering to Israel. Praise the Lord from dwelling place. Thank you. So um, she just sent a thank you. Oh my goodness, it's she's a prolific writer. So <laughs> I'll just say thank you from Charlita. So I'll put this over here and you can look at it. That we're gonna, we are, you know, we bless Israel. Every one of the feasts, all we said, there's room for a fa- a, an offering. Yes. That's, that's what you. we did. Thank a good offering you. to Israel. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Hey, Sarah. Good morning. Good morning. So, I put money in here. Song, okay. Okay. Psalm 80. Psalm 32. We're just getting ready to read Psalm 32. Okay, we're ready. We're waiting on you, sir. Psalm 32. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Amen. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity. Thank you. In whose spirit there is no deceit. When I kept silent, my groans grew old through my groaning all the day long. For day and night your hand was heavy upon me. My vitality was turned to the drought of summer. The angel of the Lord encamps around all around those who fear him and delivers them. Oh, taste and see that God is good. Blessed is the man who trusts him. Oh, fear the Lord, you all, you his saints. There is no want for to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack anything good. Come, you children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Who is the man who desires life and many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes are on the righteous. The ears are open to their cry. Face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart, and sit and save such as they have a contrite heart of spirit. And many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. He guards all of his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked. And those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Thank you. What song are you reading? Yeah, that. Oh, you're reading Psalm 36. Oh, Psalm, Psalm 36. I'm sorry. No. I'm, I'm sitting there. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Psalm 36, y'all. We're ready for you. We did the change. <laughs> well, we did Psalm 36 Six instead. Six instead, okay. <laughs> it was beautiful, though. Perfect. Yeah. Really we'll take Psalm 36 <laughs> any day. Okay. We're starting early, so good. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We have a lot Actually, to do. That clock, I think, is a little I think I said it. I hope it's right. <laughs> the other one's the same. <laughs> oh, praise the Lord. I hope y'all are doing well. Praise Amen. the Lord. Let's go to let's go to Isaiah. I am going to read Isaiah four today, out of the Passion Translation. As soon as we get there, but right now I want to read. Let's go to Isaiah sixty. I'm sorry, what? Sixty. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach good tidings. Right? Amen? Amen. 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 Oh, 
We, yeah. Jesus calling. You know? Better pick up. We believe that. You better pick up. That's exactly. And collect call. That's hilarious. He loves it when we laugh. Yes, he does. We've got to have a good sense of humor. We're still early, guys. We're okay. We've got other people coming in, so we won't hurry too fast. Did I hear Susan's laugh? No, I didn't hear Susan here yet. I mean, there she is. Uh, well, isn't that amazing? Uh, I just was saying. Talking about Where's I Susan? Hear the horn honk in the parking lot. Oh, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we usually don't hear it, so that's okay. <laughs> so, does everybody have a book of notes? Yes, are we all good? This one. You picked up one. That's this the one. one. Yes, it's that's not. it. Yeah. Page 89. Page 89 is where we will be. But first, but first. we're going to do a little Sukkot. So we're just a little bit early to get started, and we'll just start early on the, on the Sukkot. Actually, your clock is off by about <laughs> by, by ten minutes. I mean, it's slow. Love going yeah. by God's time. Not my, yeah, my clock <laughs> is right, just right. just loves me because um, it's merciful. Okay, okay. I didn't get everything organized this morning yet, so I'll give you that. And I have the Sukkot presentation ready if you want it. Oh, praise the Lord. Okay, so I do have more Return of the Gods, if anybody's interested in it. I am, I'm reading it right now. And Isn't it's, that it's really good. Isn't that beautiful? It is good, yes. It's and um, it sure gives you things to think about. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we've been talking about coming out of the world, coming out of the Babylonian system, and that's exactly where we want to be is I am not going to participate wherever possible. You know, it's hard because we live in this world, but we're not of this world. That's Amen. what the scripture says. And we agree with that. But it is hard. There's some things I'm still, like, struggling with. I got out of the banking system as much as I could. Uh -huh. I got Amen. out of, you know, I, I don't shop certain places. Amen. I refuse to, and um, I'm shopping other places less and less. Yes. So um, we just have to do what we can do, and there's no judgment from well, me. How do you find out about places where you shouldn't shop? <laughs> well, um, pretty much anyone that you know has a, a, a one-world agenda, mm -hmm. or you see on their website or something, we support this and this and that. And, and you know what? More than anything, the Holy Spirit has given me a check on certain businesses. It's and if the Holy Spirit is giving yeah. me a check, I'm saying I'm not going to shop at that place. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Okay. That's really okay. the, main, the main thing. And um, we just want to be aware of what he says. Okay, so last week I talked just a little bit about Sukkot because we were coming into the season, right? Mm -hmm. And um, so this week, it's so good to see you this morning. Mm -hmm. Welcome. <laughs> we have, tell me your name again. Karen Davis. Karen. And Karen is here and she came in this week and, and we just, we had a good time visiting. And you were at the Messianic thing on, you were at Sukkot. Saturday night. Sat Sukkot. Oh yes, that was yeah. wonderful. Yeah, that was wonderful. So on, on, actually was it Sunday afternoon? Sunday afternoon. Yes, yes, that's okay. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just making sure. Um, but anyway, Karen, welcome. You're always welcome here. And please feel comfortable, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So, I, I last week, I... Was it last week after I left here? I pick, went down and picked up... Did I have this last week? Yes. Okay. No, so, no, they did on Saturday. On Saturday night, yeah. you did. Saturday night, I had it. So, what this is, is the Laleb and the Etrog. Okay. So this was so funny. I'll have to show, show what happened on Saturday night. Okay, so Saturday night we were talking about it. So what what is what is the this is the palm branch? You can see it. It's actually quite a beautiful branch. Mm -hmm. And they're from Israel. They ship them in. And I went down to a messianic congregation. This is going to fall apart now. This is the myrtle. And there's three myrtle branches. And they have been. They've been they've done very well, but they are now losing their <laughs> their leaves. And this is the willow, and you can tell it's willow by the way it's uh, it bends. And they go in these little pockets in here, 
and they wave them. Bill, you want to come up and wave it before the Lord? And so they wave it northeast, south, and west before the Lord, along with the etrog. This is the etrog, or the lemon, the type of lemon. It's from the Mediterranean. And you want to? So, why don't we all stand? And we'll start just, to the north. Start to the north. Which I'm so this glad way. you know what north is, because <laughs> I north never do. Huh? Are you filming? Praise the Lord. Am I and then we go to. Are you filming? The east. East. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> wave to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now we'll wave to the south. We'll wave to the south. Good morning, Carol. Good morning. It's good to see you, my dear. Now we'll wave to the west. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for all the things that you give us. We thank you especially for your son. Thank yes. you for your son. Yes, we give you glory and praise. And Lord, as we wave before the Lord, we say we wave our harvest before you. We yes. thank you for the harvest. Thank you for this season. We give you all glory and praise for what you have done for us this year. And Lord, we give you glory. Thank you, Lord, in advance for everything that's going to yes. happen in the next yes. year. We thank yes. you, God. Glory to God. So what I want to hold this up for just a little bit longer. What I want to, one thing I want to share with you on that is this can represent our body. This is like your backbone. This is like your backbone. This is like your lips. This is like your eyes. So it, everything has, I can't remember what a lemon is. You know, God gives us lemonade. <laughs> and we make lemonade. But, um, but there's more to it than that. And if I find it on my notes, which I'm not, uh, because I have lost my notes between last week and this week. But it all represents parts of the body. And so we're actually just waving our own body and also, here's another thing. This is the branches, right? It, it represents the main stalk of the tree, the branches, and the fruit. So it's like the whole thing all wrapped up into one thing that we wave before the Lord. And we just say, thank you, God, for everything that you give us. And we just give you glory. From the, You know, we thank the Lord. We are like a tree planted by the rivers of water. And in his season, he will, we, will, we will bear good fruit. This year, we thank you, Lord, that we are going to bear good fruit yes. for the kingdom. Yes. In Jesus' name, and we give you all glory and praise and honor. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, just stay there with that because you can, you can be seated. But when we are, you know, and we just had um, Paso, or excuse me, um, the fall feast, Yom we had Yom, Yom, we had a Yom Tarura and Rosh Hashanah first, right? right? Yep. And that was the new year. So we start, like, we hit the refresh button, and here we are. And then we had Yom Kippur last week, where we prayed and repented. And I, I don't know, I hope you all had some part in that where you got to pray and ask and talk to the Lord. You know, that has had a huge impact. We had... Uh, what day was it? Tuesday, Tuesday. Last Tuesday, where Millie and Stu came in, and they did the, the oh. whole thing, and it was two and a half hours of repentance. And you think, oh, that would be boring. No. Mm -hmm. The more I heard, the more I was like, oh, this all applies to me. I, I you know, I was th I've been thinking about this. I'm like, you know, if everybody did this in, in the world, yeah. Wow. Yeah. We would not need therapists. But you know, <laughs> the day is coming. The day is coming where the entire Amen. world will do this. Amen. Right. And and there's something about when we repent, we just bow before the Lord and we say, oh my goodness. So I was standing back there because I was watching several, we had two meetings in the building at the same time, so I was watching several things. So I, I bow out and I come back in. And there was such a spirit of repentance in this room. And at one point, I, I, I wept myself and I said, God. I had a certain situation that I was at the end. I was like, I have no hope left on this situation. <laughs> Zero hope. I'm going to repent for everything I can think of. And of course, we already had been repenting for everything you can think of, plus a million more things. Right. I was just, I was shocked. But it was so powerful. And so I just sat back there and thought, Lord, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I have, I'm sure I have spoken wrong. I'm sure I've done the wrong thing. Please forgive me. And the very next, what, two days later, we had breakthrough. In fact, it was after our Thursday meeting. Last Ooh. Thursday, I had breakthrough. And, I, and this was something I thought, God, I'm, you know, there's no hope. <laughs> that was exactly where I was. Zero hope. There's no moving forward unless you say move forward, Lord. I'm going to stay right where I'm at. 
But after repenting, good morning, after repenting and repenting, all of a sudden there was breakthrough. So can I just encourage you? Because something about this whole season, we are staying here for just a bit, and we are welcoming what the Lord is doing. Now, tabernacles, so we go from the new year to what? Repent, repentance, Yom Kippur. And now we are to dwell in the presence of the Lord with him. And it is to be with rejoicing. Amen. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We are to be like the happiest people on the planet. We get to go outside and we get to rejoice and be and eat outside and have a picnic under the presence of the Lord. And all of those branches represent us being in the presence of the Lord. And last week we talked just a little bit about uh, the Sukkot was we, that... Um, Jacob, when he left Laban, left slavery, mm -hmm. he left that, and he came out, and he built a house at Succoth, mm -hmm. right? Yep. No accidents with Jesus. Uh -huh. And then when they came out of Israel, they left slavery, because it was kind of like slavery to Laban when J Jacob came out. Mm -hmm. And and Jacob, they God changed Jacob's name, right? Do I have That's something right. to Israel. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know... I will feel the presence of the Lord a lot of times. Yes, praise the Lord. So, uh, but I'm like, okay. <laughs> but we, <laughs> yeah, yeah, please tell me, you know, I'll never be offended. But when we left slavery, God changed our name, right? From Jacob to Israel and we are changed the same way we we are grafted into that we don't replace Israel we just join them we Amen. join with them Amen. under the place of and blessing it's a covenant it's, it's a, a covenant, covenant that yeah. God made at that time with Jacob to become Israel there's always a name change and we are in that same covenant Amen. we are in the same covenant we believe the word just like they do we yes. believe the word of God yes. and so they came out of slavery the, um, the, the Israelites, they came into a place of freedom, and they went to Succoth. Yes. Right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And they were like, we get to stay in the tents of Jacob. Mm -hmm. And we get to rest in the place of Jacob. Mm -hmm. And our animals will sleep in the same tents. So in the same booths, that's where it comes from. And so, praise the Lord, that's what we do. We just say we are leaving. Now, let's go one step further. Because, you, as you know, we're to practice these things from now to eternity. Keep going, right? We do this every year. Every year, just like we do Passover. We do it every year. Why? Because we're practicing. And I forget. There's some parts of Passover I forget every year. I'm like, oh, I forgot about that. Yes, I want to do that. So, I'm going to turn to Isaiah chapter 4. There is a purpose for us doing Sukkot and practicing these things, these feasts of the Lord. Never calls it feast of the Jew. It says feast of the Lord. Lord. Isaiah 4. Isaiah 4. Isaiah 4. And I'm going to read it to you out of the Passion just because this is precious. And I lost my copy and my house. I'll find it. Okay. <laughs> In that day, and as you know, when we study, last day study, we always say, in that day is what? The day of the Lord. It's the day of the Lord. This is when he comes, he returns, and he says, I'm going to set up my kingdom. My, And that's what we've been His praying way. since he left. My, Your kingdom come, your, your will, will be, be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Yes. Okay. Yes. So in that day, when Yeshua comes, glory. The, bran the branch of Yeshua will be beautiful and glorious. There's a song going through my head on this because in International House of Prayer they sing, yes. In that day it will be beautiful and glorious. <laughs> <laughs> and the fruit of the earth will be the pride and the glory of the remnant of Israel. And then the remnant in Zion and Jerusalem, those who are written for life in Jerusalem will be called holy. That's you and me. And the Lord has washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and cleansed the bloodstains of Jerusalem by a spirit of justice and by a spirit of burning. Then Yahweh will create over all the Mount 
Zion, and over every gathering, a cloud of smoke by day, and a glow of flaming fire by night. When they came out of Israel, what did they come out the with? Cloud the cloud, cloud by day, mm -hmm. the fire, fire by night. night. So we have this to look forward to. Amen. All right? And sister told me the other day about when the fire of God or the cloud of God showed up in her house. Whoa. And I've had the same. Whoa. We've had the we've had it show up here. Yeah. And that's what we look forward to when it stays. It comes yeah. and it stays. <laughs> and we because we love it, we want to be around it. More. Oh, more. Then okay, then um, can you believe it's in the word? I'm always like this is really in the Word. <laughs> we have all of this to look forward to. And all this manifestation of dazzling glory yes. will spread over them like a wedding canopy. Yes. Oh, it, it will be a tabernacle yeah. as a shade yes. from the scorching heat of day and a safe shelter to protect them from the storm and the rain. Can you believe how good God's word is? Mm -hmm. Now can we just wave our hands before the Lord and say, Oh, may that Jesus come quickly. Yeshua, come quickly. We say, yes, Lord, on that day when you, we look forward to that day when you will be a cloud over us and a fire at night and a cloud by day. And we will, we will dwell in the tabernacle of the one true God with you. And we look forward to that day. Oh, we give you glory. Come on, let's yeah. say thank you. Glory. 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 Glory.
Because we are a productive group. Amen. Amen. You guys are. And everything we touch will bear fruit. Amen. Yes. Amen. And what does that mean? Yeah, you want to pass it around? What is that? It's an etrog. It's from Israel. Oh, etrog. But it's, a, it's like a lemon. It's a citrus. Oh, so, oh, let me say. It's a lemon. It's a lemon. Yeah. So, it's real. Yes, it's real. It's pass, it, pass it around. No, it's real. It's real. I went down to a messianic uh, place and, 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 oh, I bought it online. And then I went down and picked it up and met them. They're wonderful people. Is it real? It's real. We can cut it open today if you want to. <laughs> On Saturday, we're going to do some Ketorah. So, yeah. <laughs> I know it's beautiful. All right. Yes. So, so praise the Lord. Isn't Jesus good? Amen. So That's why we celebrate some Ketorah. Thank okay, now, you, Lord. Everybody has come in. I just want to remind you that I have this now, if you're looking for it. Let me show you one more thing I have. I have these for you who have men who are hard to buy for. When we were in the South, this was a big deal. These little things, they call them koozies or something like that. But they unscrew and you could put anything like any kind, any size of a can, except not real fat. But, or a bottle in them and it keeps them cold. And when we were in the South, everybody had them and they were walking. And it does, it insulates them. So I have them. Because they're from Jesus's stuff. They're <laughs> holy, holy koozies. Not the secular. It's from. It's from. And you bless. You know. You bless. It's a holy ministry, koozie. So. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I have a whole bunch of different ones. But there's a lot of. You know, it's hard to buy men gifts, and so I'm really looking for good men gifts right now because oh. I've got a lot of son-in-laws now. Oh. You know, if you have four daughters. A a oh, there you go. Oh. You know, you have four four daughters. You're going to have four more sons. You know, so. I I have two sons, and I, it's easy to buy for the girls, but boy, the boys, I'm like, oh, got We always like tools and knives. Tools, well, one of these is, looks like tools, <laughs> and <laughs> we're good on knives. No, 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 they're, they're from America. Okay. They are made in America, which is good. Okay. We okay. want to support Americans. Yes, yes. All right, so open up in your books. We've read a pretty good chunk of word. We're gonna we're gonna go through what we're doing. Eighty nine, page eighty nine. If you don't have one, they're up there. They're for sale for fifteen, or you're welcome to use one while you're here today. Finally got them published again, republished, and so we're excited about having it. Woo! And then we'll keep republishing. Another book. And keep adding. And keep adding. Keep adding. That's right. <laughs> we're keeping it going. Now, last week we started talking about Luther. And we started talking about, um, let's actually pull, turn back just a little bit more, because what was happening in the church, let's start at the top of page 83, because this will get us a little bit more word in here, because we love the word of God. You know what? If you foundation, if you are foundationed in the word of God, you will not be shocked or moved, Right? I will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, which the word of God is part of that. It's the washing and the renewing of the word of God. I will be like a tree planted. And, and so the, these times, we need to be more settled in the word of God than ever before. And I pray that you guys are reading the word. I'm on the third time through this year. And if I can do it three times, so can you. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm not done yet. But this was my year to do the 50th time, so my doing the 50th and the 51st time. And I'm happy. I'm like, in fact, I didn't even realize it was the 50th time, and I'm so excited about it. So anyway, so it was my jubilee year in reading the Word, yeah. and it is good. Oh, I'm finally warming up. Praise the Lord. Were you oh. cold this morning? Oh, yeah, no. oh my goodness. It took me forever to warm up. Okay. So at the top of page 83, let's read it together, because when we're talking about Martin Luther, we, we know there was great heresy going on in the church, mainly because if you go back in page, um, actually, Bill, let me have you go back in the book, or one of, somebody go back in the book and tell me what page it is where all of the, uh, 66. Pope, is it, oh yeah, that is fitting, 66, oh, okay, right, where all of the um, Popel bill bowls were bowls. Um, released and all of the false teaching that was going out among the church plus in the church in the so-called church they were um, not able to read the word of God because nobody spoke Latin the word was translated into Latin nobody knew what they were talking about so you would go into a service in the large institutional church and you would hear a sermon in Latin you had no idea what they just said 
and you had to do what the priest told you to do, and you did it because you didn't. You had the fear. We talked a lot about how the the church just focused. And, and when I'm saying church, I'm not talking about you and me, the church. I'm talking about the institution. The institution that you would come in and they would say, you have to do this. And if you have sin in your life, or if you sinned, you know, you're going to tell the priest. And then the priest is going to tell you, okay, well, you have to go walk around for a week with peas in your shoe or something <laughs> like that. And that will pay for your sin. How many days in hell does it take to pay for a sin? Eternity. You can't. <laughs> you can't. Even eternity doesn't It's not pay. enough. That's right. You Speaking cannot. About it. Right. So no amount of pain that you cause yourself or you cause any, you know, you, you go through or anything like that, none of that will pay the price of one death on the cross. Let's read it together. If we confess our, our sins, sins, he is faithful and just to forgive, to forgive our, our sins, sins and to cleanse, cleanse us from, from all unrighteousness. Here's this Hebrews 4. Let's read together. Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast to our profession. For we do not have a high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace and help in time of need. Amen. Amen. So what they were doing, indulgences, if it's right there on that page still, keep going just a little bit more. Indulgences had to do with satisfaction, the third part of penance. In the institutional church, permitted the penitent to substitute the payment of the sum of money for other forms of penalty or satisfaction. Now, on page 66, this didn't happen. I want to know what year that was that that started happening. It wasn't right after jesus 1090 1090 so you're talking about a thousand years just about a thousand years after well yes a thousand years plus after jesus but they started taking these indulgences and saying if you do this think of what that word means in, you can indulge in sin if you're willing to pay do you see oh, wow. just follow the yeah, logic on that, that. <laughs> so i don't want to indulge in sin why don't we indulge in sin not because the word tells us not to, which it does. I don't sin because I love this man. Amen. And I don't want to do anything Amen. that would stop my relationship with him. And I know, you know, I've looked at people and wanted to say something at times. And I'll think to myself, I would be hurting the Jesus in them. Mm -hmm. Watch my mouth. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Because if we hurt someone, we're not, we just have to remember who we yeah, serve and who right. we love. Yeah, that's right. So it's so important how we talk to each other because yeah. we're all children of the Most High God. Mm -hmm. No matter, I mean, we know some people are bad, wicked, doing wicked things, but I still want to be careful what I say because I'm going to be responsible to Him. Mm -hmm. So, and no amount of money. Mm -hmm. I'm standing back there repenting. No amount of money could pay mm -hmm. for that blessing of being forgiven mm -hmm. and knowing mm -hmm. that I had been, that the Lord had, had helped. But it also made me think, I don't want to do that again. Right? Mm -hmm. right. I don't want to do, I don't want to go there again. Jesus, I repent that I went there the first time and I'm not going back. Steve? So, yes. Uh, Stephen, uh, do you ever, does anybody ever listen to Stephen Furtick? Yes. yes, all the time. He's good. He's, he is good. He's so good. Well, last night I was listening to him, and he was talking about his wife was evidently giving the message that Sunday. Or, yeah, I think yeah. it was last Sunday. And he was on his way. He was a little late because he had the kids with him. <laughs> and so the light turned green, and he was behind this car. But the car didn't didn't move, mm -hmm. and he wanted to get into the church parking lot. It was right there, right. just making a left turn into it, and and so he was tempted. He wanted to 
to push on his horn, you know. But he, he his hand was even up there, and he, and he, and he had this thought: No, no, I'm not going to do that. That's, I'm right, I'm right in front of my church, and you know, and you know, the people that were having a slow turn happened to be new members, and, and, and here, and so what they do at his church, I guess they do something with their lights or something, so everybody knows that they're new members, and so he. He, if he had pu pushed on that horn, mm. and here he is, a senior pastor, and he, and he had that, and, and then his children were also in the car, right. and that right. was an example, to them. an example to them. And so, I just loved it. I love that, too. And I'm going to remember that story. Amen, you know, amen, amen. because you should be behind somebody. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I remember having gone through a very difficult time in my life. I mean, it was brutal. And I remember driving down the road, and somebody honked at me. Oh. And I thought, do they know what I'm going through? <laughs> because I was like, no, they don't. I was, my, uh, my heart had been crushed. I was, I was weeping. I was like a mess. And this was like for days at a time, I was just a mess. And I thought, do they know what's going on? <laughs> because shouldn't everybody know? They, I think of that. I think of that. When I'm ready to... When I'm ready to Hi, listen, brother, <laughs> you know, stop it. <laughs> I think, I wonder what they're going through. So it's, right. it is good. Not only who are we setting the example right. before, but <clears throat> what are they going through? Okay. Oh, good parts of it. And those are way better than paying money to be, so I can indulge, right? <laughs> okay. Let's go down to the bottom because Tetzel was the friar at the time, and he was peddling indulgences by saying, the moment you hear your money oh. drop in the box, the soul of your mother will jump oh. out of purgatory. Oh. Oh. It was these kinds of abuses that began to stir the fires of reformation. Amen. Okay, now there was a lot more in there if you want to go back and read. Now let's go move forward. And I want you to remember Wycliffe and John, John Hus. John, John, um, and and Wycliffe. Wycliffe was translating the Word of God into uh, English. English so that everybody could read. Yes, no. Oh, it's on the uh, up here, and uh, we're back to page eighty nine. Mm -hmm. So we um, we remember John Hus and we thank God for Wycliffe. And remember last time we talked about Wycliffe after he died. Uh, he li he lived a good life and died a good life. But he. Um, um, then uh, a few years later after John Hoos had really stirred up the problem or stirred up the whole thing again about what the, what the Catholic Church is doing is not right, you know, and, and boy, the spirit of reformation was flowing through the land and people were like, no, 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 the church can't do this to us. And so they dug up Wycliffe's bones and burned him. They were so mad. And you know what? Once the reformation starts... Nothing can stop right. it. Yeah. We've just been through a series of awakenings. And I believe we have more to go. Yeah. Right? right. Yes. Amen. Yes. The last yes. two years have been a yes. massive awakening. Yes. Mm -hmm. We are going through this time where people are all of a sudden saying, Oh my goodness. I mean, most of us knew right off the bat, no. I remember day three, I was like, if the media would shut up, mm -hmm. this would all be over. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Yes. And then by day 10, I'm like, no, I'm not doing this. And then I'm finding a place where I can meet because the churches are shutting down. And I'm like, no, we're not shutting down. We're opening a church. So I started this place. We actually began to meet May 2020. Because, and we had a lot of work to do in the meantime. We had to paint these walls. They were purple. Mm. So, <laughs> and we had to pull all the construction stuff out. I mean, we had a lot of work to do. We did it, though. Praise the Lord. Yes. But we, I was like, no, we're not shutting down. We are going to build a church. And, and here's my whole thing. We're not building a church. We're building God's kingdom. Amen. 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 And the problem with our time frame, and if you and I know this, is that we haven't won the world for Jesus. Um, Instead, we stayed in the church. That's right. And what did that get us? 
God help us. And so we need reformation. I don't want to, now that I know, and I know, I've said this before, but now that I know what I know now from 2020, are we going back to that same thing? No, never. And I will tell you that I want to be one that's pushing forward and saying, I want to be outside the church. You know, I want to be out doing this. I want to be trained well. That's why we do fire camp. We train you to hear the voice of God, to know when the angels are in the room, to know how to heal, heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons. That's why we do what we do, because the church has to be prophetically trained. We must be trained in going out and, 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 and loving our neighbors. To into Amen. the kingdom, Amen. not into my church. Right. This I already told you. I said this a couple of weeks ago. I said I don't. If Jesus tells me to get out of this church, I will. We'll shut the doors. We'll go out. But we need to know that this is the training ground yeah. for the yeah. people, yeah. so that we, the church, go out. Amen. And the reformation is what we need, and that's what we're looking for. Uh -huh. Yes. Just wanted to say that. The, the, the disciples, the apostles, they had the same problem. All right. They didn't move out of uh, Jerusalem until they were really forced out through persecution. persecution. Yeah, yeah. And so when we face persecution, it's an opportunity for us to either hunker down and hide, right? Right, which is not what the Lord wants no. us to do, or to step out against the persecution Amen. and do what the Lord has exactly right. commissioned us Amen. to do. Amen. 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 And yes. guess what? Yes. Persecution is not necessarily going to come from the government, which I do believe some of it will, right? Yes. Yes. But where did persecution come from here? From the church. Yeah. church. The one who were religious. Yes. What about Jesus? Mm -hmm. Who was persecuting him? The church. The church. Mm -hmm. The organized church. Yeah, I've been listening to lots of good stuff. <laughs> And I won't talk the whole time. Okay. But, but you know where it says in the Bible that many will fall away? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know where it says, yeah. well, I just, uh, this, well, I don't know who it was because I've been listening to lots but, but and reading a lot too. But also, uh, this pertains to, to us uh, because of not being strong enough when the persecution does come That's right. and when the things get worse and worse mm -hmm. as, right. as they will. Yes, God's going to protect us. Yes, yes, He is. We're a Goshen. We are in Goshen. But, but many will fall away That's right. because they can't That's handle right. it. That's and right. we are being trained now. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. And you know what else I hear? I just heard too. Do you know how the army of Egypt followed the Israelites into the into the Red Sea? Yes. I had never thought of this, and maybe many of you have. But one reason God sent them there in the Egypt was after them is because they would have turned around lots of times, oh, right. and and so and so and that couldn't. army kept them going. Oh, right. they, they couldn't turn around and go back like they wanted to later. I love that. Oh, yeah. I love that. They, they were being chased right through. God is so it is so good. And don't, so don't be surprised if you're being chased out of a situation or at, or you're still in a circumstance that you haven't been because it's a training ground. Everything is a test. Everything is a test. So keep going. And remember the Ecclesia. I'm glad you said that because that's exactly right. We are the Ecclesia. Amen. And we're not the church building. We are the Ecclesia. And we are the ones. We are the ones to go out. We're the ones called. And we want to be the ones who hear the voice of the Lord. Amen. Okay. Let's Amen. keep moving. So here we are at page 89. And let's go down to... Um, now, I'll real quickly say that... Uh, um, Gutenberg's press had just been invented, praise the Lord. And now this is 1519. So kind of get your timeline where you're at 1519 Gutenberg. And Luther began to publish these pamphlets. And so the word went out across everywhere. And it was, I mean, that was an amazing, I mean, isn't the hand of God amazing? Listen, we believe that you guys are going to get inventions. So we just agree right now with yes. heaven yes. that we will have inventions yes. from heaven, yes. that we will yes. be able to fund the yes. kingdom going forward yes. in Jesus' yes. name. But we thank you, God, that you do give believers dreams and visions in the night, that we can hear from you and that we will... Um, get a solution. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you gave you so Daniel. 
Daniel, you has an excellent spirit in 512, excellent spirit to solve problems. Yes. We are problem yes, solvers. Lord. So Jesus, we ask that we have understanding of how to solve problems, to get inventions, to have witty inventions in Jesus' name. Goodness, you think of, I always think of the wheel on a, on a suitcase and what a major change <laughs> that has made in my life. Yes. Glory to God. Okay, we want something simple but profound that will change the world. Okay, let's go down to June 15th. Pope Leo ratified and signed the bill excommunicating Luther. Pope, uh, the Pope used Eck to serve on a committee to write the bull, and Eck relished every decree. Eck was kind of like the anti guy. He was like, I'm pushing Luther, I'm pushing him. The bull said the errors of the Greeks, of the Bohemians, were now revived in Germany. So, in other words, the fires of Reformation was being stirred up all around Germany now. It mentioned 41 propositions which claimed that were Luther's, condemning them as heretical, scandalous, false, or offensive to pious ears, or seducing to simple minds, and standing in the way of the Catholic faith. Now, we believe what we believe what we read earlier that the word of God is all of ours, the Jew and the Gentile. And that yes. changed. Mm. It didn't it's never changed, but what happened was in 300 AD, when Constantine did his dirty deeds, he separated us into two different, and he called the um, church, the Catholic church, and he called the um, the rest of us, you know, whatever. And he would not, absolutely would not celebrate Passover. That should be a big key in all of our minds. It should also be a big key when they say, don't sit, don't worship, right. don't go to church. Right. Shouldn't that be a big key? Yeah. Let's yes. never, ever fall for that. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> the bull called upon all faithful people to burn Luther's works, and it forbade Luther to preach. He and all that followed him were ordered to recant publicly within 60 days. If they did not, they were to be treated as heretics. The bull ordered the government to seize and imprison Luther and everyone who followed him. It was left to Eck to get the bull published. They had, di had difficulty finding printers who would print it. They did not like what, you know what, that's what's happening now. And if you listen on the radio, I listen to the radio all the time. I listen to AM radio because there's a lot of conservative talk. Because the liberals never could make it. Right? How many of you have listened to that liberal station for a while? And I was like, I wonder how long they'll make it. I think it was 76, 760 AM. I was like, I wonder how long. And sure enough, it did not make it. Because if you have to talk about a something long enough, here's the problem. <laughs> you can't cover all your lies. You can't cover all your lies. That's exactly right. right. But there's not a good liberal thought that they actually follow through all the way to the end and it has a good outcome. Dear God, have mercy. Look at the outcomes. Yes. They're horrific. In fact, that's why I homeschooled all my kids. I said, Excellent. look at the outcomes. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the outcomes. So people would say, Stephanie, what about socialization? I said, well, look at the school socialization. Exactly. Look at that outcome. Mm -hmm. right. I would much rather know where I'm taking my kids mm -hmm. and get good socialization. Amen. Okay. Right. I said, oh, that's not a problem. We'll, we'll socialize them well. Yeah, but they do. Okay. Boy, i got to get my no thing up here okay now so nobody's publishing it at Erfurt the students seized all the cotton the Erfurt students were awesome can I say they were like stirring it up like just like students do okay at Erfurt the students seized all the copies they could and they threw them in the river Luther came out with a tract against the excrutable which means cursed very hateful and abominable bull of Antichrist called the, the Pope, the Antichrist. Luther retreated to his room at the Black Cloister in Wittenberg and from there published a pamphlet with the title On Good Works. This far, book had far-reaching effects. His main thesis was, the just shall live by faith. Glory to God. And that man is saved, what? By faith alone. Glory to, by faith in God alone. The noblest of all good works, he said, is to believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. To flee from the world into a convent and do nothing but pray and fast and meditate and contemplate and chastise oneself and give alms is not doing That's good right. works. That's right. We must serve God in the midst of the world by faithfully performing the tax, tasks of our daily occupations. Shoemakers, carpenters, housekeepers, cooks, farmers, businessmen. 
they do their work to the glory of God, they are more pleasing than monks and nuns. Mm. Get that into your deep into your spirit because it's true. Yes, sister. So uh, the uh, the um, movie that you recommended? Yes, Martin Luther. 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 I saw it. Oh, good. It's Joseph Thee. Is that the new one really or the, the new one? one? It's the newer one. one. It was probably 1990 or no, 2000s. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. Maybe early two thousand. Yeah, I don't remember. And, and where it was. Two thousand three. That's right. We read that last week. How did you get to see it? It's on. It's on YouTube TV. Which oh, okay. praise which the Lord! I, uh, YouTube oh, TV I, might be on Amazon Prime then too. I, yeah. I didn't. I didn't see it on Amazon Prime, okay. but uh, but it said available on YouTube. Okay. And you can get YouTube Luther. TV for just free. Luther. And, yes. and if Joseph I can download Fiends. it, anybody can. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> That's really good. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I hear yeah. this stuff. Okay. So so one of the things that I thought oh, about yes. from, from yes. that was, uh, our, you know, I understand what he's saying here about isolating themselves, but aren't there people who really have a prayer, a, a, a calling for intercessors to be an absolutely. Absolutely. And, absolutely, and some of these people are very Strong instrumental and, mm -hmm. and really you know, do pray things. for the country, absolutely. the world, the, you know, things. Yeah, so that you okay. don't have to leave everyone. That's what the point is, is that you don't have to go hide yourself away. And we actually read it when we read, read about monasteries, and it's back in the notes a little bit where it says, you know, some of the monasteries, mon monastery, monastery. monastery. Yes. were really good. We, my, my Montessori school. <laughs> <laughs> so some of them were very good, and then some of them were very e evil yeah. because... The same wicked heart, if your heart is not changed, you can right. take your same wickedness into a monastery and cause way more problems. But you're exactly right. They were outward focused with their communities, right. making things and doing things with their right. communities. Right. And that's and that is what that was what Luther was saying. He after being in a monastery for a very long time, he was like, Hold on. I should have been out in the world. I should have been out doing things. And of course he did he was a good uh, professor, so but, but he was saying it's not about hiding. I mean, if the whole world went and hid away like we just did, God help us, what happens? People go literally crazy. It's not, we need each other. It is important that we let people be together, that we um, enjoy the presence of the Lord together. Okay, and the Bible tells us. Is that it? The, yeah, that's it. Oh, yes, okay, blow that up. <laughs> what, this? Yeah. yeah. Joseph Finus. So it's yeah, it's Joseph Fiends, or how do you say his name? Yeah, there. Yeah, that's I guess that's a bigger picture over there. Yeah, two thousand three. That's a great movie, especially after reading this chapter. Okay, so here we go. Um, so early in the morning. Let's see, writing against Rome did not satisfy Luther. Early in the morning of December 10th, 1520, he posted a notice on the same Wittenberg church. That was, remember, that was their note. Uh, that was like their bulletin board. And the whole city would come up and see what was written on the, clip, what was posted. The notice read, let whoever, whosoever adheres to the truth of the gospel be presented, present, excuse me, present at nine o'clock where the impious books of the papal decrees and of scholastic, scholastic theology will be burned. Come, pious youth, to this religious yeah, spectacle, yeah. for perchance now is the time when the Antichrist must be revealed. Okay. They did, not, they did proceed to burn the books of canon law, and when the books had burned, Luther placed the papal bull on the fire. <laughs> pope Leo was almost at the end of his life. I don't know if that's where they got Pope on a rope. <laughs> <laughs> He had exhausted all ecclesiastical means to bring Luther to his knees. By this time, there was a new emperor. His name was uh, Charles V, the king of Spain. In Netherlands, Italy, and parts of America, discovered only 29 years before by Columbus, and now Germany, Charles V was a devout Catholic, and, a, and Pope Leo prevailed upon him to summon Luther before the Diet, the Council of German Statesmen and Rulers. That's why diets are so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was to be held in the next year in the city of Worms. Uh, Luther started for Worms in April 1521, believing he was going to his death. If God saved me, can we begin to realize this? If God saved me? Like the he three Hebrew children, Hananiah, Mishael, right. and Azariah. Right. If God saved me 
praise the Lord. Amen. But if he does not, praise the Lord. <laughs> right? Yes. And that's what Luther laid down. Listen, can I say, you can learn this in your own life, in your own home, through what the circumstances the Lord allows you to go through. Just remember, it's a test. And yes. you can learn this. I remember listening to, um, I was listening just recently because our sister Charlita, who's on a, oh, headed to Israel, she sent me these four videos of a man that was in Turkey, in the Turkish prison yes. for several years, and he went through the steps, and I'm like, praise God, I've learned those lessons, not with a gun to my head. But I've learned them in my own home. I've learned how to not take offense. Right. I've learned these things. Yeah, not that right. I'm perfect, Amen. but I'm not going to stop mm -hmm. if they come and put a gun to my head mm -hmm. and say, De you know, are you going to die mm -hmm. or, or are you going to recant? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to go see Jesus Amen. and that's what I'm going to do. And I dreamed those things in my own life. Mm -hmm. So I made the choice a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I, if they come for my body, Glory to God. They can kill my body, but they can't still kill my soul. That's Jesus right. has something he needs me in heaven for, and I'm going to go do it. And I want to I want to do it. I think it's a great training ground for what's next. Yeah. So don't be sad when people leave. We've had two precious ones leave this week. And we just thank God because they're in the great training ground right now mm -hmm. of heaven. They're having fun, but they're also, they're going to be doing more things than they could ever get done on earth. And, we, and then we have the millennial reign to come. So glory. We'll take whatever. Whether I live or whether I die. It's up to the Lord. My, my life is his. Amen. Luther started for worms in 1521. Believing he was going to his death. To his, his surprise. His journey was much like a victory parade. Everywhere he went. Crowds lined the roads to see the man who dared to stand up for Germany against the Pope. And who was going to his death, so they thought, for his faith. When they got to Worms, the crowds were so dense that it was almost impossible for his cart to proceed. Many people filled the streets. Out of every window, people hung to catch a glimpse of the monk under papal ban for heresy. Luther appeared before the Diet. Present were all the important men of Germany, nobles, lords, both secular and spiritual. Foremost, the emperor, Charles V. In the midst of the pomp and splendor before the most powerful emperor to appear in many centuries stood Luther, a poor and powerless priest, offspring of peasant parents. Now, we do know that he was, he was well off. His parents yes. were well off. Um, that came out of, I think, my, my um, Lutheran uh, school book that I studied. Mm -hmm. Okay, But he was actually well off. Okay, but now he was... He was poor because when you went into a monastery, you gave up every Everything. earthly possession you had. So he had no money of his own. Okay. Um, Charles V was only 21. 21. Mm -hmm. And wow. Luther was 37. Friends feared that further effort would be too much for him. But Luther went on and repeated his address. It was a great oration. Oh, excuse me. I missed Luther was 37. The great hall was packed. Flaming torches gave out their heat and ventilation was poor. Perspiration was running down Luther's face and he looked wan and exhausted. Luther gave his speech first in Latin and then he was asked to repeat it in German. Friends feared that, earth, earth, uh, that further effort would be too much for him. But Luther went on, repeated his address. It was a great oration and when Luther finished, the official told him he had not spoken to the point. The question was whether he would recant his statements against the church or not. The emperor demanded a plain answer. Then Luther said, if the emperor desires a plain answer, then I will give it to him. It is impossible for me to recant unless I am proved to be wrong by the testimony Amen. of That's scripture. Right. My conscience is bound to the word of God. Wow. It is neither safe nor honest to act against one's conscience here I stand. God help me. I cannot do otherwise. Wow. The torches, I'm sure he said it in both languages. Oh. The torches had burned down. The hall was getting dark. The emperor gave a sign that the meeting was over. He left his throne, went out to his private apartments. Luther turned and left the tribunal. A number of Spaniards broke out into hootings. Now, I can imagine what that sounded like. They followed Luther and with a prolonged cheering, many of the, of the German nobles and delegates from the towns formed a circle around Luther and escorted him because he could have been killed at any point. Right. Right. They could have uh, sent somebody yes. in to sniper him. Mm. Okay. 
uh, and escorted him back to his lodgings. Having arrived, Luther shouted glee gleefully, I am through, I am through. It had to be a great relief. Several conferences were held with Luther during the next few days, but it was found impossible to come to an agreement. The outcome, okay, God help the church, God help us as the body, God help us as the ecclesia, that we will never compromise the word of God. In our time, going forward, Lord, there's going to be many more opportunities for us to say, okay, it would be much easier for me to take money and be quiet. So, Father, right now, in the name of Jesus, give us strong backbones. Very just like strong. this, give us a strong backbone yes. to carry the word of God. Yes. Um, if you've ever read Brother Young's book, um, when I read it the first time, I was on the floor most of the time, we, weeping and repenting. Yes. Because Brother Young, at the very end of his book, one of the main chapters is at the very end of his book. He talks about all of the things that happened in his life, and at the very end he says, Do not pray. That persecution will stop in China. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that broke me because I have prayed all my life. Yeah. God help the Chinese, it's help my brothers and it. sisters. And that's exactly right. It is. He said, "Pray that we will have strong backbones mm -hmm. to carry the gospel, yeah. because they believe yeah. they are going to carry the gospel down the Silk Road all the way back to Jerusalem. That's they have a whole movement yes. mm -hmm. called Back to Jerusalem, oh, yes. and they believe that when they hit Jerusalem, that there's going to be revival." As with, oh, yes. He says, "I don't know when, but a certain number of us we're going to get there, and there's going to be." And you know what? They go, they cross the border, um, get thrown back in jail. And guess what? When they get out of jail, they don't go home and feel sorry for themselves. Right. They say, I'm going to Jerusalem. And they get back across. And, you know, they do it until they make it across. So that is the... God give us that kind of fervor. Because, Lord, we recognize that there is a lost and dying world out there. And we cannot sit back and just be content where we are. I repent right now for myself. I repent, yeah. and I ask you, Lord, to forgive yeah, me. Yeah. And I pray, Father, during this time, yeah. that we will know what to do as the church, that you will teach us what to do. Teach us, Father, call us in the night to our neighbors, to our friends, to those around us who need the gospel. Oh, can I just tell you a quick thing? We had a girl that was a homeschool girl, and I just want to say, glory to God, she... We went, went off, and bless her heart, went off and, and married a man and ended up transitioning. Now, listen, the man had to be on board with this. Okay, beautiful young girl. We believe right from the very beginning that she's coming back. Amen. And she's come, we're hearing the first whispers that she's coming back. And we're like, oh, it seems so impossible. I can't even tell you how impossible. Praise the Lord. And we say she'll come back to normal. We're praying right now that she'll go back through puberty. Yeah. <laughs> Glory yeah. to God. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's got to be a yeah. miracle. There's a yes. Thank there's you, a God. Yeah. Amen. Yes. We're praying for that awakening Amen. among that whole Amen. thing. And I tell you, you couldn't say a word because there was a whole group of people that would come and descend on you. You know, if you go in, in the Facebook and you say, hey, honey, I love you. Boy, I tell you what, they would descend like a bunch of ravenous wolves. You can't say anything. Thing. These kids are being so deceived, so we have got to pray. It's out of total, oh my goodness, deception, and it's not it's not necessarily all their fault. Yes, they have the they have the, the choice, but we praise God that pressure can be so big. So we just say in Jesus' name, and you know I know I have another one, so we call her back right now. Any of them, anybody you know, right now in the name of Jesus, anyone we know, even the ones that we go to the grocery store, we go to Best Buy. I'm so, for who are, Lord, we call them back to their right mind in Jesus' name. And that the, the eyes, their eyes would be opened in Jesus' name. Boy, that was a long stretch from Luther, but here we go. Again, okay. I just happen to think, praise the Lord. <laughs> because God is going to move in this generation like never. We're going to see a reformation. We're going to see an awakening among these people. Because they are not, listen. The path they've been led down is pure hell. Yeah. The outcome is pure hell. Yeah. So, and it's a personal hell. So we yeah. want them out of that in Thank Jesus' Lord. name. Yes. Okay. Several conferences were held with Luther during the next few days. Nothing. The outcome, Luther was ordered to return to Wittenberg. He was forbidden to preach. And I think he said, so what? 
It was planned <laughs> that after the promise to keep Luther safe expired, he would be seized and put to death as a, a pestilent heretic. <laughs> May we all be pestilent oh, heretics. Yes. Uh, Glory to God. Deplorable. Yeah, I was called a heretic for a while. There was a, a thing. And I was like, uh, well, uh, where is that not uh, a compliment? Because <laughs> everywhere in history, I see that as a great compliment. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what the story is sometime. Okay. There is a very small gate in the wall of worms. By the gate, Luther left the city by night. It was pointed out by to tourists today. So go there. I went. I went. On April 28th, Luther reached Frankfurt, where, from where he wrote his friend, the painter Lucas Kranich in Wittenberg that he was going into hiding, but he did not know where. Here's what it, he said. We must suffer and keep silence for a little time, a little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while. Boy, it kind of feels like President Trump, doesn't it? And you shall see me. At least, I hope so, but God's will be done. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Luther traveled through several small towns and preached. And preached. <laughs> Saw his family, then continued to his journey. Then in the forest, five masked riders suddenly swept down upon him, lifted him out of his cart, rode off with him into the direction of Eisenach. It was done by order of Luther's prince, the elector Frederick the Wise. Frederick had ordered the riders to take Luther into safe hiding in the place of his castle, the Wartburg. Here Luther stayed for ten months while the storm quieted. Luther was the volcano whose eruptions from 1517 to 1521 caused the quakes which convulsed the church, first in Germany, but soon many other countries of Western Europe. While in Wartburg, Luther, tra Luther translated the Bible. He did good work while he was in uh, hiding in the language of his people, the Germans. Luther held that every man has the right and the duty to read and amen. study the Bible for yes. himself. Can I see a big amen? Yes. 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 Praise the Lord. This made it possible for the Bible to be read in, and, worships, um, and worship services conducted in German. Other accomplishments of Luther, he labored tirelessly for the establishment of schools everywhere. He wrote his shorter catechism on which generation after generation of Lutheran children were reared. The church needed a new hymn book. One of the most remarkable things about this very extraordinary man, Luther, is that in the midst of his combat with Rome, he blossomed forth as a poet and wrote many of the hymns for the new yeah. hymn book, A Mighty Fortress oh, yes. Is Our oh, God. God. Glory! Yes. And right. Away in the Manger. Oh, Praise God. the Lord. Our among his most favorite. Thanks. Excuse me. Luther did not think of himself and his followers as a new church. He felt that the Romanists were the one who had departed yes. Yes. from the New Testament church. I agree. All that he had done was to reform the church that had become deformed. On the evening of 13 June 1525, Luther married Katerina, yes. one of a group of 12 nuns he had helped escape from the Nemtian uh, Cisterna Covenant. I don't know how you say that. So let me say um, that... Oh, here's what he said. Suddenly, while I was occupied with far different thoughts, <laughs> the Lord has plunged me into marriage. <laughs> Praise the Lord. She was 26 and he was 42. Wow. Luther and Katrina moved to the former monastery, the Black Cloister, a wedding present from the new elector, John Frederick, at Frederick, and embarked on what appears to have been a happy and successful marriage. And he reared six children. Praise the Lord. Wow. Katrina, whose judgment Luther respected, helped earn the couple a living by farming the land and taking in borders. Uh, she did it. Yes. I say? Uh, I just listened to a whole thing on women. And uh, praise the Lord. <laughs> you know, one of the great things that he said, and I'll, I'll, I'll teach some of what he says because it's so good. One of the great things that he said was, it looks to me, like Jesus was not only spreading the gospel, but the women were the ones behind every bit of it with money. <laughs> That's right. And the apostles, too. That's right. So glory to God. That's right. <laughs> Come on, women. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we're going to take the land. Okay. Right. Thank you, Lord. Luther confided to Stifle, where on earth do you ever see Jesus dis cutting off half the population never, of the world and saying you can't spread the gospel? Never. 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 It's never there. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. We're doing it. Keep going, Amen. Okay, and men. Keep going, men. <laughs> we all got to do it together. That's right. We're great. We're great together, aren't we? Yeah. We yeah. can, we can accomplish us. this when we work together right. and we don't disable half That's of us. Right. He That's made right. us okay. that way. Luther yeah. confided to Stifle on 11 August 1526, Katrina, my dear rib, 
is thanks to God, gentle, obedient, compliant in all things. Beyond my hopes, I would not exchange my poverty for the wealth. Ah, oh, sorry, I have to get the... Okay, praise the Lord. Oh, Croesus. The fall of Martin Luther. Yes. Here we go. Now, oh, brace I'm yourself, yes. okay? Because he was... So much of this was so powerful. And if you haven't read the first part of this study, go back. Because the things, praise God for Martin Luther and all that Martin Luther did. We just bless him. It's been 500 years. That Reformation sparked and went worldwide. That's why we have so many different denominations today. Praise the Lord. Because we can go to a place where we agree with what's being preached. We don't have to argue about everything. We can all be at peace and love each other. We can love all the other denominations. Maybe we don't agree with everything. So what? Let, I, I don't agree with everything my husband says, <laughs> so, let, but I can live in unity with him, sure. right? That's I right. can love yeah. him and take care of him, and so and he and me, him, me we love each other mm -hmm. this way. Remember what I said? Yeah. We yes. love yes. each other this way, but we are vertically in unity with every doctrine that Jesus teaches. Yeah. That's right. And that's Amen. where we're that's in right. unity, that's right. vertically, and yep. Horizontally, we love each other, and we say, "Well, I mean, I don't know, I don't agree no, there, but I love, love you, yeah, and I'm going to fight for your right to say." With all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and, and your good that men. That's, that's exactly right. right. Okay, <laughs> so here we are. Right. And seriously, brace yourself. The first time I studied this, I wept like a baby. Uh, I couldn't I'm believe it. I was so upset because I had sad. it was left out of the um, yes the. The, the book I was reading, <laughs> the student book I was yeah, reading, the movie. school book. And uh, so most of what I'm reading to you is out of a book called uh, The Rise of Constantine. And it was from the Jews and also from a history of the Jew. And I think I brought that book today, too. But anyway, those are the books. And I, the biography is in your book. So okay. the biography is in here. Um Historian Robert Michael writes that Luther was concerned with the Jewish question all his life, despite devoting only a small proportion of his work to it. As a Christian pastor and theologian, Luther was concerned that people have faith in Jesus as the Messiah for salvation. In rejecting that view of Jesus, the Jews became the quintessential other, a model of the opposition to the Christian view of God. And we know that the first Jews were Christians yes. in Antioch, right? We yes. studied that. Okay. In an early work that Jesus Christ was born a Jew, Luther advocated kindness toward the Jews, but only with the aim, there's a, so there's an agenda, only with the aim of converting them to Christianity, which was called the Judean mission. Now, whenever you want to win somebody to Jesus and you have an agenda, Right. Watch out, yeah. because your agenda should yeah. only be love. That's yeah. right. You, you do not make a decision for them. Mm -hmm. You just love them. Mm -hmm. And let Jesus do the work. Mm -hmm. yeah, Holy exactly. Spirit is the best at this. Mm -hmm. Can I say, mm -hmm. I am totally at peace mm -hmm. with all of where my children are, because mm -hmm. Holy Spirit is so good. Because I remember what it was like when I was a dirty, rotten kid. And I did all the dirty, rotten things. My parents had no idea how rotten I was. I was a pastor's kid on top of that. <laughs> rotten and ornery. Oh, my goodness. I was thinking of something the other day. Is that the book that's coming out? Yeah, I should be. I'm too embarrassed to say how bad it really was. I was thinking about this on the penance thing because I was thinking so many it hasn't been that long ago no. that I bought a gift for somebody that I had done something dirty and rotten to in high school. And I wrote her an apology. I said, it was me. I did it. I was wicked. I'm sorry. Um, and I sent her something that I really wanted. <laughs> and I sent it and I yeah. said, I love you and I'm very sorry. So there's a certain amount of things that when the Lord asks you to give a gift, give a gift. Yes. Because when sometimes you do something so dirty, you need to really Amen. apologize for something you love and give. Mm -hmm. Okay? Aren't you so grateful? Yeah. Amen. He loves so us. Because we can so really good. be bad. We're here. This is <laughs> yes. I was just honoring. I was I just honoring. You. God help us. Okay. Oh. Ah. You know, one thing I think it's important to remember that Solomon later in his life made horrible mistakes. Not just one bad mistake. Not just one. 
thousands of very bad mistakes. And Luther made mistakes, just like every one of us in a similar situation might make similar mistakes. So we have to look with forgiveness to the things that he did that were wrong and praise God for all the things that he did that were good. That's so good. Can I say that some of you have young people around you, either in the church or outside, and can I just say, be patient? And we loving. Do, and yes. love them. Thank you, Bill. Because we do fire camps, and sometimes you can get so, like, oh, oh, honey. I tell you, I have a lot less trouble with kids than I have with adults. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Most of it's done out of complete immaturity. Mm -hmm. And they just don't know. There's no manual. And right. they right. will no. know at some point. Yes. And just like I repented. I believe the Holy Spirit does never stop. Okay, Amen. and we don't Amen. know where Luther ended up, but I believe the Holy Spirit was dealing with his heart. But let's, here we go. When his efforts at conversion to the Jew failed, he became increasingly bitter. Mm -hmm. His main works on Jews were his 60,000 word treaties, which I won't say, on the Jews and their lies, mm -hmm. on the, and then on the holy name and the lineage of Christ, Reprinted five times within his lifetime, both written in 1543 and in three years again before his death. Wow. He argued that the Jews were no longer the chosen people, but were the devil's people. They were base, whoring people. That is, no people of God. And their boast of their lineage, circumcision, and the law must be accounted as filth. The synagogue was a defiled bride. Good God Almighty. Yes, an incorrigible whore, an evil slut. The Jews were full of devil species, which they were swallowing, wallowing like swine. God, we repent. We, for, we repent for what he said. He advocated setting synagogues on fire, destroying Jewish prayer books, forbidding rabbis from preaching, seizing Jews' property and money, smashing up their homes, ensuring that those poisonous and venomous worms be forced into labor or expelled for a time. He also seemed to sanction their murder, saying we are at fault and not slaying them. He played right into the Nazis' hands. He played yeah. right into their hands. Or they stirred it up. Right. They had a choice in the matter. Luther successfully oh campaigned. Could it be? Could it be? Isn't it horrible? Luther successfully campaigned against the Jews in Saxony, Brandenburg, Silesia, Joel, Joseph. Josel of Rosenheim, who tried to help the Jews of Saxony, wrote in his memoir that their situation was due to that priest whose name was Martin Luther, may his body and soul be bound up in hell, who wrote and issued many heretical books in which he said whoever would help the Jews was due to perdition. Luther's influence persisted after his death. Through the 1580s, riots saw the expulsion of Jews from several Jew German Lutheran states. As according to historian Michael, Luther's work acquired the status of scripture within Germany. He became the most widely read author of his generation in part because of the coarse and the passionate nature of his writing. The prevailing view among historians is that the anti-Jewish rhetoric contributed significantly to the development of anti-Semitism in Germany. And in the 30s and 40s provided the ideal foundation for the National Socialist attacks on the Jews. Ooh. Reinhold Lewin writes that whoever wrote against the Jews for whatever reason believed that he had a right to justify himself by triumphantly referring to Luther. According to Michael, just about every anti-Jewish book printed in the Third Reich contained references to and quotations from Luther. In 1940, Heinrich Heimler wrote admiringly of Luther's writings and the sermons on the Jews. The city of Nuremberg presented a first edition of On the Jews and Their Lies. Uh, on his birthday in 30, 1937, the newspaper described it as the most radically anti-Semitic track ever published. On 17 December 1941, seven uh, Protestant regional church confederations issued a statement agreeing with the policy of boring, forcing the Jews to wear the yellow badge, largely because of Luther's writings. Some scholars see Luther's influence as limited, and the Nazis' use of his work as opportunistic. Martin uh, Bright uh, argues that there was a world of difference between Luther's belief in salvation, which depended on faith in Jesus as the Messiah, a belief that Luther criticized <coughs> the Jews for rejecting, and the Nazis' ideology of ranti ra uh, racial anti-Semitism. 
uh, Neto agrees, er, arguing that it was because the Nazis were already anti-Semites that they revived Luther's work, which right, is, yeah. is a possibility. Yeah. And and we just we look at this and go, mm-hmm. Since the 1980s, Lutheran church denominations, and I remember when this started, have repudiated Martin Luther's anti-Semitic views. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Luther's final years, and so <clears throat> they have come out and repented. Look how late, 1980s. Oh, they did, they did well, remember, that. remember we had, yeah. But remember we had, especially during the 70s and 80s, there was the charismatic renewal. Mm -hmm. And you had many people repent, starting to realize the sins that we have done yeah. as a nation, as whatever, and Church repenting Church. for a whole lot of things. Yeah. Uh, I remember, Israel. I remember yeah. even during that time, and we'll talk about William Seymour at some point. William mm -hmm. Seymour was the one in 1905 yes. that brought about the Pentecostal revival and the Assemblies of God Church. I remember coming out, and it, maybe it's just been 20 years coming out and repenting for how they treated William mm -hmm. Seymour. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and it wasn't necessarily the assemblies that treated him bad, but it was, um, there was a segment that did and they repented fully for it and I praise God for that. So, we just have to know, oh, just what happened? Like, did, were you, were you did, it, did you talk, I got here late, but <laughs> did you talk about Saturday, New Eagles? Yes, you did. Praise the Lord. It. We are not in this one, but we did on Saturday. And okay. we agree be with that. Be it was so be good. Because of he also, I've seen people do it. I know John Paul Jackson did. Yeah. Repented to the Indians. And yes. It, yes. And, and we do a whole lot of repenting. And we No, I didn't. I watched yeah. so the good. line. Oh, it was, yeah, it was so, so good. Yeah. Praise the Lord for and letting go. Stu Lieberman. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, he was he good. He was here then the next day in Ditsuko. Did he? It was so good. Okay. Since the 1980s, okay, Luther's final years in death. Uh, Luther had been suffering uh, from ill health for years, including, okay, I'll, I won't go through the list. It was bad. Okay. His physical health made him short-tempered and even harsher in his writings and comments. You know, this is why I always say, do I know what that person's going through? If somebody's sharp to you, ask them if they don't feel good. Because a lot of times it's true. They don't feel good. Or they're in pain. His wife, Katie, was overheard saying, dear husband, you are too rude. And he responded, they are teaching me to be rude. No. He made a choice. Mm -hmm. yeah, his right. last sermon was delivered at Eisenbein, his place of birth, on February 15th, 1546, three days before his death. It was entirely devoted to the obdurate, stubbornly persistent in wrongdoing, is what obdurate means, Jews, whom it was a matter of great urgency to expel them from all of German territory. Oh. Oh. James McKinnon writes that it concluded with a fiery summons to drive the Jews bag and baggage from their midst unless they desisted from their calumny and their usury and become Christians. Luther said we want practice we want to practice Christian love toward them and pray that they convert, but also that they are our public enemies and if they could kill us they all would gladly do so. And often they do. We re we're sorry. Jesus we repent. Mm -hmm. We bless the Jew. In fact, right now, we bless the Jew, and we believe they are coming to their Messiah. In Jesus' name, we thank you, Lord, for how you're doing it. Not, we disagree with this, these statements. On 17 February 1546, after 8 p.m., he experienced chest pains. When he went to his bed, he prayed, Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. The common prayer of the dying. At 1 a.m., he woke with more chest pains. Why I wrote A.M. like I did a P.M. I'm sorry, I'm editing in my brain going, what was I thinking? Okay, he wrote with more uh, chest pain and was warmed with hot towels. He thanked God for revealing his son to him whom he had believed. His companions, Justice, Jonas, and Michael shouted loudly, Reverend Father, are you ready to die trusting in your Lord Jesus Christ and to confess the doctrine which you have taught us in his name? A distinct yes was Luther's reply. Mm -hmm. It was believed at the time that he had a sudden cardiac arrest or stroke. Uh, oh, it was believed at that time that a sudden cardiac arrest or stroke was a sign that Satan had taken a man's soul. Luther's companions stressed that he had gradually weakened and commended himself into God's hands. Luther is often depicted with a swan as his attribute, and Lutheran churches often have a swan for a weather vane. This association with the swan. Let's just redeem 
Then let's go for the good stuff, right? Yes. Let's redeem it. Let's bless what Martin Luther did. It was good. We are sorry. And God is, listen, God deals with Martin, has dealt with Martin Luther. Yes. yes. God has dealt with all of that. We, were, we are sorry for the things that were believed that were false. But you know what? There's a lot of people that have some falsities. Um, uh, the swan in the Bohemian land. Oh, and the association with the swan arises out of a prophecy reportedly made by the earlier reformer John Huss, Hus, from Bohemia in the Bohemian language, now Czechoslovakian, Hus's name meant gray goose. In 1414, while imprisoned by the Council of Constance, anticipating his execution by burning for heresy, who's prophesied, now they will roast a goose, but in a hundred years they will hear the swan yes. sing. <laughs> they better listen to him. Praise the Lord for yes. John Hoos. Okay. Yeah. By the time that Luther died in 1546, the truth that he had championed was triumphant not only in Germany, but also in England and France, huh. Switzerland, Switzerland, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, the Netherlands, and Scotland. Others would come along and build on Luther's work, but God had used him to prepare the way he had shown the world the simple power of these words, the just shall live by faith. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. It is horrifying. It is horrifying, but we bless Israel, right? We bless Israel. Do you have the pictures of me in front of uh, Luther's church? I did go to... Luther's Church, uh, 2019. My husband wanted to go to uh, Oktoberfest. So it was in September. It was in September 2019. And uh, that was horribly boring to me. I was so horrified. <laughs> I hate beer. I don't like beer at all. And so I was just sitting there going, are they going to sing that song again? <laughs> so that was Israel. Um, oh no, it's in a different uh, PowerPoint. Remember the PowerPoint I said of just... It, uh, anyway, so we went to Luther's um, where his church is today, um, and which most of you know that I have uh, the Mark Chagall windows on yes. the other side. Yes. There was an art museum there that had to sh had some Chagall, so we got to go in and see that, which was amazing because it's kind of hidden away in the middle of nowhere, and, and so it was just a treasure to go in there and see that. But his church is, was actually bombed during World War yes. II, and so that this was a rebuild of probably what the foundation and what was there they but it is a beautiful church and um um you know we just bless the good and we yeah. repent for the bad and we mm -hmm. move on right yeah. because what can we do until that day but we don't want to ever join into that we don't ever exactly. want to join in and guess what it's gonna it's gonna come back again i just heard and and i wonder I wonder how much of this has affected the, the Jewish population down through time. But I just heard that the, um, the men who did the Holocaust, which was some of the people who called themselves Jews and are not, the Rothschilds, the, mm -hmm. that money line that the is so wicked, right. Rockefellers. Well, they took seven, the name seven, eight, uh, eight, to be Jewish, but they never were they Jewish. Never, never were, were Jewish. Jewish. And they yeah. call yeah. themselves yeah. Jewish, yeah. yes. Yeah. And so, you know, you wonder down through time how much damage that, because listen, it didn't just start with the Rockefellers. Of course it's been not. going on a long time. The wicked line of Cain mm -hmm. is always rearing up at very mm -hmm. wicked times. Yes. Exactly. Yes. And so I just heard that the same one who um, were funding Hitler, mm -hmm. you know, that same Rockefeller, were the same ones who funded the uh, Bad Yashem, because you see their name at the... And mm -hmm. you know what? God is going to deal with all of them. Yes. Those wicked people one day will meet the God of the universe. Yeah. And I was reading today in Isaiah about those... He, God is so pleased by those who tremble at his word. Yes. May we be the ones yes. who tremble at his word. Yes. And we have the fear of the Lord upon Amen. us. Yes. When he Amen. tells you, Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out demons. You better have the fear of the Lord, right? right. right. I want the fear of the Lord. Yeah. And I don't want to miss my opportunity. I want to know what it's like. I want to be able to prophesy when I can. I want to be able to, when I have the open door, I want to be able to do those things. Right? Right. So that's why we do what we do here. 
<laughs> and we do it well. We try. <laughs> we make mistakes, right? We make mistakes, but we keep going. And we try to fix our mistakes. <laughs> we repent. But we want to bring, we want to see the whole world come to Jesus. All right. I just want to bless you, and I'll release you since my clock is fast. Slow. <laughs> Sorry. It's on time now. Oh, it's on time I switched now. it. Praise the Lord. We have three, four more minutes. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. All right. We um, are just so blessed by so many things happening right now. I think we have uh, we have a slideshow that Connie will start up again with. But um, I just want to say the bookstore will be open afterwards, and at 1230... Connie does the sign language today, yes. And the sign language class, if you if you haven't joined, you may join at any time. Can I say, she's doing such a fantastic job. I'm so proud of you, Connie. It's Thank you, Connie. Connie just tolerates us. You know, it's, it's our, she's our, our deaf sound person. And I'm always like, <laughs> <laughs> Woo! how you do it? <laughs> oh, you see, but she keeps up <laughs> so well. She's an expert si uh, mouth reader. You know, sign yes. language is her first language. Yes. And so if you've ever thought, I want to learn, because it's a good thing to learn. It really yes. is. And it's not hard. They, you've just been going a few weeks. They've already got 50 words. No, they, we got more. Have more than 50 words, but it's just the every time practice. This is one time you can come in, you can make all the mistakes in the world, it won't matter. Nobody's going to give you a test at the end. And so, we just, we just bless her. We, yeah, she does. Of course, she does. She's a good teacher. And so, I'll just let you hold it. So, um, let's just lift up our offering before the Lord. And let's just thank the Lord for everything He's done. We actually have. Uh, Charlita, who just went to, um, is going to Israel. She leaves tomorrow. We want to bless her. She, she left uh, She left a card over there that says, thank you, because we sent a very good offering from Dwelling Place with her. We praise the Lord that we can send a good offering to Israel, because we want to bless Israel. That's um, Every time you have a feast, like we just did, there's always that opportunity to send an offering to Israel. And so we do it in various ways. But Father, right now, we just lift our offering to you. Um, Father... Can I just say thank you for what you give us? Lord, we're so yes. blessed. What, what an abundant blessing you are to us, Lord. We just can't say thank you enough. So, Lord, we just lift our, our offering to you today, and we bless you. Yes. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all glory and praise. Now, Lord, we bless these, your people. May the blessings of the Lord be upon each one here in this room. We thank you, Father, for your anointing that is upon each person in this room. Yes. Father, may we be the ones who will stand up and boldly proclaim the gospel and that we'll not be the ones who turn our backs and give us strong backbones. Now, okay, can I just say, if you make mistakes and, and you don't do something, don't take guilt. That's not what it's for. There's always going to be another time. Just go for it the next time and ask the Lord to forgive you and move on. There's no time to... Sit right. back and go, oh, I can't do it. I won't do it. No. Lord, teach us how to share the gospel in the way that you want us to. Teach us to love people. Because people just, when we love them, they come to you. It's just the most surprising, wonderful thing ever. So, Father, help us to love people into the kingdom of heaven. Because we want to build your kingdom. Praise the Lord. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. Father, I pray right now that the favor of heaven would be upon these your people. May the open heaven rest upon us in our homes. May the dwelling place of God be in our homes. May the cloud of heaven be upon our homes. May we dwell in the presence of the Most High God every day. May we sleep under the wings of angels in Jesus' name. And we thank you and give you glory and praise and honor. We give you all the praise because you are the one true God. Yes. There is no other God. And we thank you and give you all praise in yes. Jesus' holy name. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Right, call our bodies. Come on, we call our bodies right now into alignment with the one true God. We call our bodies to complete healing. I command healing in my body from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. If you have a problem, I've been having a problem with my heel, and I'm just going to call it out. In the name of Jesus, I command the pain to go out of my heel through the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. I say, Jesus, you are the healer. I thank you for your blood, which heals me from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. 
And I thank you, Lord. If you have a pain, put your hand there and say, I command the pain to go in Jesus' name. I command the pain to go. I command my body to line up with the word of God. Perfect. I command sight to our eyes, uh, hearing to our ears. Lord, the proper words to our mouth. Lord, in Jesus' name, we call our blood into order. We say be healed in Jesus' name and be lined up with the blood of Jesus, with the DNA of heaven. Lord, we speak to our skeletons and we say to our body, our physical body, our, our bones, line up. And if they're dry bones right now, we call life into our bones. We say no, no disease or anything else. I just sensed... Um, uh, osteo somebody's probably had the diagnosis of osteoporosis we just say no to the power and the blood of jesus christ we call life back into those bones and renewal like baby bones in jesus name yes. in jesus name we thank you does anybody else have a word of knowledge Listen, we don't need a sick and dying church. <laughs> we need a healthy church. We got a lot of work to do, my friends. We're not going anywhere. Glory to God. Well, yes? Yeah, I just want to say this morning when I woke up, I was trying to get out of bed and I got Charlie Horse in both legs. And I was screaming about as hard as I could. Oh, okay. Because of that, I figured, I knew this having this meeting today and Something was happening to try to discourage me not to right? do that. Oh, so right. That was my cue to go. Okay. Amen. So I, I love that because that's exactly right. You know, we turn, the enemy wants to discourage you. So does anybody else have trouble with cramping in any way oh, of your yes. body? Oh, yes. Even if you have nerve pain, you know, a lot of that is cramping because of uh, nerves. You know, the muscles will tense up. We just command right now the nerves to lay down through the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. We command the pain to go, and we just we just call rest into those nerves right now so that the body can heal through the power and the blood. Thank you, Jesus. And if uh, Lord, direct what we eat, direct what nutrition we take, help us, Lord, to eat the right things so that our body can be made whole in Jesus' name. Yes. 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 We actually we line up our emotions yeah. right now with yes. the Word of God, with yeah. the, with Jesus. Yeah. We line our soul up, mm -hmm. our mind, will, and emotions. We line it up with Jesus's Word. Mm -hmm. We say, Father, we take Your Word as our own, and we say, Lord, let me tell you a story. My I had a pastor who taught us to read the Word when I was young, and he. Um, he younger <laughs> he taught us he said there was a man that was thrown into prison in some country saw and they said we're going to throw you into solitary and you're going to come out see insane and he said no i'm not and um he didn't say that out loud because it would have been worse but he thought in his head no i'm not no. same thing with the if you've been given a disease yeah. diagnosis just say no yep no, amen, amen. you don't have to say it out loud because your doctor may get better. But just say, no, in my heart. No, I don't have that diagnosis, but I'm going to line up with the word of God and he's going to heal me. Yeah. So anyway, he went into solitary and it was brutal. But he had a piece of the word of God that he memorized and spoke every day. He came out. He had memorized most of the New Testament by the time he came out the first time. Oh he came out. He said the word of God every day. He was more sane after coming out. He, they threw him back in for a time. But he came out more sane because he had gotten, in the meantime, he had gotten more of the word of God. And the more he read that word, it will heal your brain. I have, When I, one time I was reading through one book, oh boy, I can't remember which book it was. But I woke up feeling, I, I, I've talked about an emotional healing in Job, yes. but I was, my, I was physically healed after reading another one of the books, and I can't remember yes. which one it was right now. Yes. But I was reading through, and I, as I did, I, I got up and I thought, I feel better. Something's mm -hmm. changed. Something has shifted in my spirit. So I'm telling you, it's in my physical body. Your physical body will be healed with the Word of God. The word, as Jesus said, I sent my Word and I healed it. Right? His Word is true. All right, my friends. I love you. God bless you and keep you. Make His face to shine and give you peace. Yes. Oh, we have food. We have just the Mediterranean food. Come over and just stand around and enjoy. It's not, it's not like a feast, but it's not lunch. But Are you going to your good. And I'll be over in the bookstore. Yep, I can't wait. <laughs> All right, bless you guys. Did I forget anything?
How are you, sweetheart? Uh, good, good to see ya. So we had several of these ladies in there. She was wonderful, yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, she's the best. She's phenomenal. And we did our we did a whole feast of the Lord workshop. And we had this beautiful little kind of like we did at the retreat, but we included the fall feast and we went into much more detail. And 